from a tall jack in space. He is going to be in agony. All that Instagram model stuff goes out the window right here. Get your phones out. You might see a bead of sweat on Paul Jackman's forehead. So, last step to wrap up the giant hammer is to wrap up the handle. So I'm building this piece for Carolina's shoe, and the original plan was to wrap the handle in leather from their factory to mimic the leather stacked look of the classic S-Wing, until I did the math and figure out how many cows that would take. So the past few days I've been testing out what would be the closest possible visual to the original handle. Some trials and errors here. Mostly errors. So the first attempt was faux leather and suede, but that darkened too much once epoxy or clear coat was applied. I tried to waterproof it, put stain on it, didn't help very much. Then I tried brown paint with stain on it, not the best look. And then I realized I had a roll of craft paper sitting up in the rafters. It's a recycled paper, so it has a little bit of visual texture to it, a little bit of three-dimensionality. And then by applying different colors of stain, you get the different shades that you need for the handle. And after a few taps of figuring out the best way to apply the paper, I figured out I can just do paper mache, but with epoxy. By the way, fun boot fact, you know that black Leather boots are made from carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. <laughs>
So the tape will protect that board from epoxy once I apply it in the next step. You'll see. Using tabletop epoxy because it's thick. Hey, thanks for watching. Thought my last project took a long time. This one started nine months ago. The Giant Hammer is the fifth in my series of giant tool builds, and this video would not have been possible without one of my favorite sponsors, Carolina Shoe. And I say one of my favorites because I can't really pick a favorite because I'd be like picking my favorite kid, and I don't have kids, so I can't pick a favorite. Does it make sense? Anyway, you saw me wearing both the Pit Stop and the American Made Amp Style boots in this video. Now you can get your own pair of Carolina boots on their website, which I will link down below, and they gave me a coupon code to pass along that's good for 30% off select boots, which I'll include next to the link. Now a little quick info about the hammer. It's eight feet long, about three feet wide, and weighs in at a whopping 90 pounds. And the modified branding and text on the hammer was easily my favorite part of the build, including the giant vinyl sticker that I made a slight update to, including modification from 20 ounces up to 90 pounds, and a little modification with the safety warnings too. And I almost, almost made a vinyl decal too of the barcode, but uh, everyone's gotta draw the line somewhere, even me. Other companies that supported this video include ArborTech, who made the power carving tools used to create this hammer, and Isotunes, maker of the best Bluetooth hearing protection out there. Isotunes currently has a Father's Day sale going on. If you buy a pair of the Isotunes free, you get a pair of the Isotunes extra for free. So if you buy a free, you get an extra free. And if you're watching this in the future, or if you'd like a different model of Isotunes headphones, Jackman 10, the code is always good for $10 off. I'll include all those details down below. And remember, I read every comment, and my ego's been a little bit inflated recently because my comment section's been a bit too positive, so maybe you can fix that.